All right, let's begin our 3D ladder. Uh, first of all, we have to fold this paper in half. And unfold it again. So we're going to begin making a 20 centimeter long line, which has to be vertical on the left side of our piece of paper. So let's put number 10 here in the center and we go 10 centimeters upwards and 10 centimeters downwards. Now we're going to make a second vertical line here, like 2.5 centimeters far from the first one. So let's measure 2.5 and let's put a small mark here. And now, as we learned, we're going to make a uh, parallel line. So let's put this coinciding with this vertical line. Now we place our ruler here and we slide until I'm touching this. So make a line here, it doesn't matter how long it is. And once I have it, I take my ruler and I do the same process I've done before, placing number 10 here and making sure it is aligned. So now, from 0 to 20. And this way I have two parallel lines, 20 uh, centimeters long each. And now, this is gonna be quite simple. I have to make a line from this point to more or less this side, all right? Touching this, this crest until the, the center of the piece of paper. So, with the ruler, I go like um, here. That could be good. And now, another line which, go, which goes from here, from this side, to the center, but it has to be parallel to this one. So, same process, we take the set square, we place it here, and now, our ruler here and we slide until my set square is on this point. Once it is here, now I trace the line. Once I have this, it is super simple. I only have to go from this point until this one, just to complete it, and from here to here. So this is the beginning, and now we need the steps of our 3D ladder. So um, let's make the horizontal ones here. And once I have this, super important. Well, this is not correctly placed. Let's make sure. Yeah, that's better. So now we're going to go from the center outwards. I am going to place my ruler here. All right, number zero is here. And I'm gonna make a mark every two centimeters. So, that way. So one mark in number two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. And now, again, starting from the center, I'll go downwards. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. And now once I have this, I have to trace parallel lines, horizontal lines, which has to be, uh, which have to be parallel to these ones here. All right. So uh, just do what I do. I place 
my set square here, the ruler as a reference on the left side, and I slide, and I make one here, and at the same time, one here. One here, and another one here. As they coincide, in this case we can do this, and the same here, because they're going to be one on top of another. Now I go to the bottom part and I repeat this process. If suddenly you, for example, move the ruler and you lose the reference, first of all, place the set square where it was, coinciding with these horizontal lines, and now you replace your, set, your ruler where it was before. All right, and you can continue. That could happen and it's important to know how to solve that problem. And as it happened above, here they are going to to be on top of another so we can trace just one single line so this is finished now what i recommend is that you take a, a black pen if you have a black marker that would be ev even better and now we're going to trace over the the ladder that we have on the on the right side so this and this This should be your this should be your ladder and now we have to put it this way against a wall and let's see the result okay here we have our 3d ladder and now we have to look for the right perspective which could be this one and now if you've made it realistic enough you should be able to do this or this. 